Hello and welcome viewers of AVG News. My name is Mkwale Sinube and I hope you are all okay wherever you are on this Monday. Uh, I don't want to take so long of your time but just to update or to respond to some questions that we are getting from mostly employers this time uh, of those who are trying to move from the Zimbabwe exemption permit to the mainstream South African permits. So before we go ahead, uh, I would like to ask you again to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to share it for the benefit of others who may be in a similar situation with you, or those uh, who may also need help. So the question that we are basically getting relate to the letter of motivation which should be submitted by those who are applying for waivers and people want to know what the letter is all about and what it should contain without having to tell you word for word uh, what should be contained in the paper uh, the letter should be written by the employer or signed by the employer stating the regulations from the immigration act that you would need to be waived for example you are a mechanic uh, you do not uh, meet the level that is required for you to be able to apply for a critical skills visa then that letter should state that although you are a mechanic or although you do not meet the threshold you are then requesting the ministry to set aside that threshold because you are already uh, employed by the company and working under the ZEP this applies to every other person who is a worker of the ZEP who wants to move to the mainstream South African permit. You just check the regulations. What is it that is required for you to apply for the particular visa that you want to apply for? For example, you are applying for a general work visa, but you do not meet the qualification criteria. You then visit or state each and every regulation that can hinder you from obtaining that visa and then you list it then you have to put a strong motivation for why this particular regulation must be set aside so that you can then go ahead and apply uh, there are also those who own businesses who are already on business permits but do not meet the five million rand threshold which uh, people should have uh, before they can be granted a business permit you also have to apply for a waiver in that particular instance because you are already operating a business here which is already complying with all the other requirements of the South African uh, government or the South African law. You are then therefore asking for the ministry to set aside the requirement for the 5 million rand threshold because you are already in operation and having a business permit which was however granted uh, as uh, a special uh, exemption so this is what you state but you do of course have to apply for a waiver and you are allowed to apply for a waiver the decision on whether or not to grant you that waiver will depend on the adjudication process of the department of home affairs and then there are people who are asking when uh, they should apply for the waivers uh, our advice is that you need to rush because it takes a bit of time it can take between four and seven months for the adjudication process to be finished which means you all know that uh, the zep expires on june 30 as per the moratorium that was given by the government so you need to therefore apply as quick as possible so that the adjudication process can be done and you are in a better position to apply for the permit after that because a waiver is not a permit after you've been granted the waiver you will then need to apply for the particular permit that uh, you seek to apply for or the one that you believe uh, you have a better chance of being granted so this is the advice that we're giving to you make it as fast as possible do it as soon as possible so that you are not uh, found wanting when the date uh, arrives because there will be a rush and this is not what you will need 
uh, on your side so as soon as possible just apply for a waiver and wait knowing that you have at least done the first step towards formalizing your stay in south africa uh, and there are others who are saying that they don't know the process that people have been robbed of their monies elsewhere uh, and they need assistance you can go to the nearest uh, internet cafe but make sure that they know what they're doing because there are people who have gone to internet cafes uh, they paid for example there was this lady who was in our offices just last week they paid somebody uh, to do the application for them paid a lot of money then at the end of the day they were given story a and story b until one day when they went there they found that the guy has left and is said to be in the U in the united kingdom so you need to be very very careful who you deal with in this uh, kind of situations but for those who would like to be assisted uh, on filling the online application form or to be given directions on how to do it or to be given advice on what exactly is needed and how it should be structured you can whatsapp us on 073-962-3075 073-962-3075 so thank you very much if you if you have any other questions you can use uh, the comment section underneath this video and type your question or whatsapp us on the number given and we will do our best to assist you Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this uh, channel, to like this video and to share it.